Hi and good afternoon. It's Donna. Today I'm going to be talking about getting ready for Mother's Day. I'm just doing a quick, really quick makeover because I've got to pop round to my mum's and I don't want to look a state. So today I'm going to be putting on some skincare and some makeup and then I'm going to be nipping out to deliver a Mother's Day present. Okay, so let me just show you what I will be using. Firstly, I'm going to prep my skin. So I'm going to be using some a new um, serum. This is the double serum and it is absolutely fantastic. You get 40 mils of liquid in there and I'll just show you. I'm just going to pump some out on my hand so you can see how it comes out. You see that? It's like two colours. You get like a kind of oil serum on one side and a creamy serum on the other. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on my skin now. I'm just going to pat it in and I love this because this is really designed for more mature skin. I would recommend it for anyone say over the age of 40 that's having some kind of issues with lines, firmness, that kind of thing. Okay, so that definitely, um, you know, sort of rings a bell with me because I am definitely over 40. <laughs> okay, so I'm patting that in, just pressing it in. And that's it. Okay, now what I'm showing you is a current product. It's, uh, as I said, it's a new. So I'm just going to try and get a nice close up of that. It's got a load of uh, writing on the back. So it's a new Ultimate Supreme. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to use another skincare product. This is actually by Lisa Armstrong. And I've got a separate video on a Lisa Armstrong product. So I'm not going to go into this one too much. It's a primer and it's also recommended as just general skincare. Lisa Armstrong actually recommends using this at night time, just on clean, bare skin. So um, I have tried that once and I liked it. I love the smell. It smells of lemongrass. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, press that in, work it into the neck because I've got a very crepey neck for some reason. Um, I mean, it's been like that even since my 30s, to be honest. I don't know why. I just never looked after my neck area. So I would recommend that you all look after your neck by using uh, special neck creams or just a general purpose moisturiser. And definitely when you go on holiday, if you're going uh, anywhere with a strong sun, then make sure that you use some kind of SPF around the neck area. Okay, so I've done that. Next thing I'm going to use is Lip primer. <laughs> I know, lots of primers today. Uh, this one is also by Inu. Oh, it's by Avon, but the, the range is Inu. Okay, now the whole Inu range is like their premium range of skincare. It's still very affordable, but it's the, at, at the premium end. So, for example, the full price of this uh, lip primer, lip plumper, is around £9, okay? But you can sometimes um, see it for, like, 6 They sometimes have promotions on it, okay? So I'm working that all the way around my lips. Okay. 
lovely now I'm being really lazy I haven't got time to go slapping on foundation so I'm just going to use this brush which is uh, a brush by Mally I don't know if you've ever heard of the makeup artist Mally um, an American who's quite famous she's done all the big celebrities and she sells her products um, on shopping channels and this brush is really good I love it and I'm just going to use it to work my Mark face powder. So I'm going to use that to set my makeup or to set my primer so I'm not looking too shiny. Okay. Oh my God. Got a bit of a hair stuck there. Right, so that is called Glow On Get Even and it's got SPF 30 in it. I've never known a face powder to have such a high SPF uh, and I'm not sure how effective it is against um, strong sun. Um, I, I'm only using it today because I didn't want to walk out with a shine on my face. Um, normally I wouldn't use a face powder to be honest. I would normally just go straight for a foundation that's very matte and do that but I'm trying something different today um, and it's just the right color for me it's got a slight golden kind of brown tone to it so I'm using that next thing I'm going to do is show you my Lisa Armstrong lipstick oh well I've got two shades here these are Lisa Armstrong lipsticks and they are a fantastic quality these ones are both matte, okay? They have a very matte finish to them, okay? This one is called M's. She literally called her colours after her friends' names. So, it's obviously got a friend called Emma or M's, and she named this shade after, after her. Now, this shade actually looks probably different on the camera that maybe it looks a bit pink on the camera but it's almost like a kind of dark peach okay so we're going to try that i'm just putting it on straight from the tube Hmm. nice coverage I like that and I've got this other one called can can which is almost like a kind of deep plum it's um, very uh, dark and deep and I really like that color as well oh which one should I wear well I'm not gonna put that one on now I'll leave that one for another video but just so that you can see the range and also the quality of her lipstick whoa they have magnetic lids, which you literally have to pull off. And they're really fun. They literally stick to each other, the lids. <laughs> Something for the children to play with, I suppose. No, they're really quite novel. I like them. I like the way the lids just sort of clip on like that. So they can't come off in your handbag. They're literally just they're quite strong. So that's really nice. Um, mm, am I happy with that red? It's not really a red. It's a very, uh, to me, it's quite neutral. It could be worn with most um, outfits. It's not a screaming red. It's quite soft. Right. Now I'm just going to put on some mascara. I haven't got time for eyeliner. I really haven't. They're like, why haven't you got time? Well, I got out of bed late. I'll be honest with you. I got out of bed really late. I was gaming. Um, what was I playing? I was playing a thing called um, Toy Crush or something. It's a really crazy little game. And I've become a little bit addicted to it. 
and then instead of doing housework I end up just playing <laughs> with this game so that's why I got out of bed late all right it is a Sunday and it is Mother's Day so I suppose I am entitled to lounge around now what I'm going to do is just shove on some mascara And this is Lisa Armstrong Mascara. Um, it's um, black, noir. And the packaging is so lovely. It's super smooth. It's really, uh, it's not plasticky at all. It feels absolutely uh, expensive. I'm only going to put one coat on again I'm running out of time so sorry I'm not going to make the most of this mascara it's just going to go on as one coat when really two coats would normally be uh, better Right, so that's done. Right, as you can probably see, I've made a bit of a mess around my eyes where I've just rushed it and I've got it sort of all over the place. So I'm just going to use these little um, kind of blotter tissues to get the excess mascara off that's gone here, there and everywhere. Fine. Right, so I think I've done that okay. And I've got an Avon quad, an um, eyeshadow quad. And this one is called True Colour Glow Teal. Okay, and I love that. It's got some amazing colours in there. I love the navy blue in it. So I'm going to use an Avon eyeliner brush. This is actually supposed to be for the gel eyeliners. And it's quite a uh, quite thick. Okay, now I'm, as I said, I'm not going to be using an eyeliner today. I haven't got time, so I'm just going to use a bit of eyeshadow and I'm literally going to brush it round. Just under the eye. Now, let me tell you something. I'm incredibly short-sighted to the point where I have to wear um, bifocal glasses. Um, I'm about minus 6.5, so I'm as blind as a bat. And when I haven't got my glasses on, it is not easy for me to do my eye makeup. I normally have to go right up close to the mirror, right till, you know, I'm literally touching the glass. Um, in order to be able to get my makeup on so I don't wear as much makeup as I'd like I remember when I was a teenager and I was still living at home I was really into my makeup and I would spend about mm, a good hour putting on eyeliners I even used to blend my own eyeshadow colors using crazy coloured lipsticks and shadows because at the time it was really hard to get a good purple and the only way I could get the purple I wanted was to blend like a fuchsia lipstick with blue eyeshadow so I used to do that and I used to put some sort of punky eyeshadows on and I'd be in my bedroom for a good hour my mum used to think I'd died in there but now I'm just rush and go. As you can see, I've literally just slapped this dark blue eyeshadow on with an eyeliner brush. Okay, and I've just done it around the eyes in an attempt to cover up the sloppily, very sloppily applied uh, mascara. 
Anyway, the Lisa Armstrong mascara is really, really um, thick. And I found that one coat was enough, really, to give me the emphasis I wanted. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is, I think, I'm done now. I'm done. I'm stepping out the door like this. Yeah, I've got no shame. So I'm going to use this lovely Avon product here called Avon Attract One. Now, they bought this out earlier this year. Uh, sorry, uh, 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 late last year. And they bought out two strengths. This one is quite a soft one. Okay, and it's a 50 mil. It's a heavy bottle. It's a heavy glass bottle. Um, and it's a very simple shape. Okay, it's a white matte glass. And it smells divine. It really does smell beautiful. So I'm going to put that on. It's um, unisex. And it's suitable for men. It really is. It reminds me very much of a fragrance my partner wears. He wears Hugo Boss. He just loves that one. Um, but I bought him the black one to this, which is the Avon One Attract Intense. And he loved that. So I would recommend either of them, the black or the white. Really good. Can be both worn by men or women. Oh, that's better. Now I can see... <laughs> Right, now, I'm not stepping out the door with these crazy plaits. I had to plait my hair because I wanted to get those waves, okay? Um, I can't be bothered with curling tongs and things like that. My hair's quite dry, um, so I don't really want to fry it any more than it already is fried because it's been bleached, coloured, and all sorts of stuff's happened to this hair. So I'm just going to let it out. So let the waves out. So as you can see, it's all separating out now. And I'm going to step out of the door with my hair like this. <laughs> it's been plaited for two days. So the, the, the wave is quite strong. And it should last two days without me having to do anything with it. Okay. So there you go. Right. So that's that. That's not too bad at all. So that's my look for today, Mother's Day. It's just a nice, simple look. I'm nipping down to my mum's because I've got this uh, Fortnum and Mason's basket to give her to show you. I'll be doing a video of that later. Okay, but that's what she's getting. Um, so I'll show you my video on that just before I deliver it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.